Hello, Hello boys. How you doing, man? All good, mate. You? Yeah, nice to meet you. How you doing? Nice Hello, man. Nice to meet you. How you doing, buddy? All good, mate. Hello, boss. Nice you right? to meet you, mate. Yeah. You ready for the tour, boys? Yes. 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 Let's show you then. Let's show you. Go on. Follow me. <laughs> yeah. Come on, boys. Alright. Yeah, this is the tunnel where, where we come up all the time. See the boys over here. Real life sizes as well. Real life sizes, yeah. Big man. <laughs> got some big, big ones over himself. there. Yeah, yeah, got some big ones. <laughs> <laughs> this is our home. Oh, yeah. yeah. I bet you spend every half oh, time. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, everything is great. My mum's always, why are you always the last one? I'm like, mum, it's just, <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite player, each one? Come on, I don't say Hector, come on. I, you know, I, I know I'm not, come on. <laughs> I'm a big Rizicki fan, so. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fan, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say that, and my brother used to play number 10 as well, so yeah. I'm going to say Wilshire as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. This is mad. <laughs> I used to have uh, one of my teammates called Ignazi that he doesn't play with me, mm -hmm. but we used to be on court all the time, literally played for hours. Because we didn't know what, what to do in England, you know, I come from Spain yeah, and uh, yeah. what do I do, it's always raining and all stuff. <laughs> so literally, COD was our way out, <laughs> man, and it's, uh, we used to have really, really good times before who, we play. Who has control? Do you have an iPod in here as well? Yeah, Giroud. Giroud or, yeah, and uh, Chamberlain as well. Really? It depends, yeah, yeah. Who's yeah. got the better taste in music? Ah, uh, probably, probably Alex. Really? Yeah, because yeah. Giroud's got uh, some <laughs> pop songs. That, uh, <laughs> yes. So obviously, communication is a massive part in a team. When you play online or in the campaign mode, do you feel yourself communicating as much as you do on the pitch? It's difficult because uh, sometimes when I used to play with my friends, we do communicate a lot, you know, that's something that it adds a lot to the game. Especially, you know, when you play on the pitch, it's really important. Sometimes you don't yeah. realise. And when you're a young player, you know, you come in your first game, you're playing with like big names like that. You feel like you can't say nothing, yeah, you yeah. know, because why are you going to tell a guy that he's a World Cup winner, <laughs> <laughs> you know? But then... As you keep playing, you get confidence between everyone. It really changes your game a lot because you help them and they help you. And I think it's a very big, important part. <laughs> he loves the banter on the mic. Yeah. Who has the most banter? <laughs> oh, for us, it has, it has to be Santi. Yeah, Podolski used to be a really funny guy, really, really funny guy. Sometimes even too much, you know, the, 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 <laughs> yeah, them yeah. times that you, you're tired after training and that you have this guy throwing water at you and stuff like that. <laughs> Come on, you don't like that. But Santi is really, really good guy and then he's very funny. Especially, you know, it was no way. <laughs> <laughs> mom, what did I tell you, mom? <laughs> come on. <laughs> Uh, when you it, come out, like, man, atmosphere. It, it's crazy. Like. It's crazy. Especially, you know, Champions League nights. You know, it's always at night. Crowds always on, on you. But I'm telling you, it changes a lot when there's full of people. Really? Uh, it's it's crazy. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So obviously we've heard about the banter you guys got in the locker room, we've heard about Giroud's terrible song choices. <laughs> obviously you guys got good connection, right? You've got good communication and stuff. How are you able to like tie you know, the stuff you go through in training and stuff on a daily basis into you know, your communication on the pitch when it really counts? Well, I think um, every single uh, communication you have with the players, especially when you come to an dressing room, I think is important, you know, from like just having a little chat in the morning yeah. to what you translate on the pitch. I think the most important thing is getting to know each other inside and outside and then from that you can you know how your teammate how your teammate plays so you know in certain situation what he's gonna do. Yeah. yeah. You know? So I think that's important that you know how your player's gonna respond. I guess when you play online as well, you when you know that you have to go that way yeah. because your teammate's gonna go yeah. that way, you know yeah. what he's gonna do, you know, stuff like that. So obviously you're a defender. Mm -hmm. When you play online, like multiplayer, do you play a more defensive role or do you get more stuck in and more aggressive? Well, you know what? I'm I'm a defender but I'm an attacking right back. You know, I used to be a winger. So I'm that kind of guy that likes to run around with his little pistol and just start banging everyone. Yes. Would you say you're more of like a, a hero? Like if, if it came down to it, like one versus six clutch, search Yo. and destroy, <laughs> are you the guy that's going to step up to the plate and d take it home? Mate, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, that's what it is. Alright, boys. We were in the Puma box. Nice. Yeah, it's not Swank, bad. It's not bad. Go in. Go in. <laughs> Check the view out there. Oh, 
All right, boys. I hope you had a nice tour around my office today. But I wanna, I wanna learn about you as well. Did you think when when you started that it would get this big? Oh, I was ten. Nintendo 64. <laughs> yeah. The Nintendo 64. Golden Eye. Oh, Literally, mate. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, I think in the last few years it's been like all about YouTube, yeah. really. People. Yeah, it's been 100%, crazy. man. As, as, as people have been looking for more. So I was one of the guys that was searching for COD. Like, I was like, how do I get a nuke? Like Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. And I saw people doing it and I saw they were doing it for a job. And I was like, what? How? That's, that's, that's mad. Crazy, yeah. Me, after the games, when I play, I get a lot of uh, after match insomnia, you know, because we got a lot of adrenaline in the game and all that. And usually the way what I do to get to bed is I usually play COD. So I'm playing COD and I, I can't sleep, but I'm actually tired. So I get, I get this, this, this kind of times when people kill me like five times at the beginning and I'm like, nah, I'm going to bed, yeah? So I know you guys are really good players. So do, do these things still happen to you oh, sometimes? Yeah, or? Time, yeah? You could just get on one day and you feel like smashing it and you feel good. And you, but you play bad, and you keep going and going and going, and then at the end of the day, you're just like, but it's crazy because sometimes, obviously, I, I go on YouTube and you know try to learn from you guys, and because because obviously I like playing COD, but I'm, I I don't get like 45 kills like yeah. people like you. So I'm like, what do they do that? I don't do, you know. So I watch it, but I think nah, sometimes they have to be like me. Like sometimes they have to oh, get more, killed a lot. More often yeah. than not, that no, makes really. me feel better, man. Right? Yeah. That yeah. makes me feel yeah. better. You look at like, no, I'm not made for this, but now. Yeah. Yeah. I think when you do bad, uh, if you if you got friends there, then you got someone to complain at. So you have yeah. to find you people. Oh. The moment, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that guy, yeah. When I was at the uh, at the beta launch, I saw well, some of the players were unbelievable. I used to say they were like the Mesu Ozils of Cod, yeah, because they could see things that no one could see. So talking about football, Premier League, and all that, you think one day you have a dream like there could be like a Premier League of Cod or something like that? So already there, there's like World League sort of thing, and players go from each region they compete, and then they go out to Los Angeles to compete for a million dollars. And Activision just introduced a new league to that as well, where it's actually $3 million. So already, that is sort of in the works sort of thing. Yeah, it's definitely, I definitely think soon, in, if not now, yeah. then in the next two or three years, esports is going to be... Does big. that include like the UK as well? Everything, yeah, yeah, everyone. $3 million a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might leave football, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I might need to stick to COD. <laughs> All right, boys, thank you very much for coming thank to you. my yeah, office. Much, it was very nice to meet you guys. Cheers, buddy. And I hope I can play against you one day. You can teach me some tricks and all that stuff. Yeah.